What's good, y'all? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be going back to that roster that we used a couple days ago in the last video. Um, the 2009-2010 roster made by MopBucket97 on the Xbox One. Hopefully, I'll remember to put it in the description if you wanted to download this roster. And we're back on it just because I love this so much the first time around. I decided, why not go back? Now, this time, we're actually going to rebuild, be rebuilding my favorite team, the Chicago Bulls. Take a look at their roster. We got a 21-year-old Derrick Rose, Luau Dang. Joe Kim Noah, Kirk Heinrich, Taj Gibson, Brad Miller, uh, Tyrus Thomas, Hakeem Warwick, Lindsey Hunter, James Johnson, Janeiro Pargo, and then some roster filler guys. Now, this is the year right before Derrick Rose won his MVP. You see he's sitting at an 88 overall, so I'm hoping that after year number one, his overall goes up even higher. And that's the plan, man. These are some of my favorite Bulls teams. Like, with the nice prime roles, we got Joe Kim Noah, who was, like, defense player of the year in the year... 2014 so this is actually a couple years before that but we got Luol Deng who was an all-star like 2012 2013 yes that's right okay look at that look at that 2012 2013 and this is the year right before we went out to sign this dude Carlos Boozer who was having one heck of a season before he came to Chicago and in Chicago he never really was um amazing but it is what it is man I don't know if I want to make trades your number one I really don't know. I may just make like simple trades, getting rid of Tyrus Thomas um, and Hakeem Ward because I know I'm never, I'm not gonna resign those guys for one. So why not try to get something for them, even if it's like a second round pick or something like that. I'll take anything just to um, get them off of the roster and have something for the future. Because with this roster, I'm gonna be taking my time and doing like a two to three year rebuild. That's the plan. But I did just see a young. What did I see? A young. Courtney Lee. Courtney Lee's one of those players that I wish would have ended up in the Bulls jersey sometime in his career. Now he's kind of getting up there in age, so I don't really want him right now. But a young Courtney Lee, I'll bring him to the team for Tyrus Thomas and Hakeem Warwick. Now, I really don't know how good we're going to be in 2K, but you see the roster, or you see the rotation. Derrick Rose, Kirk Heyrich, Luol. Um, I, this is, Tides wasn't starting back then. 2000, this is actually Todd's rookie season, 2009, 2010. He definitely wasn't starting. I don't remember who was starting over him. He, oh, at, whoa. Todd started 70 games his rookie year? Okay, well, Todd, Todd was starting back then, but I, that's the only trade I'm going to do for year number one. We're actually just going to simulate straight to the end of the season. I'm expecting us to make the playoffs as we get injuries to Kirk Heinrich, that probably hurts us a little bit. But I am expecting us to make it to the playoffs. Actually, in this video, one of the main comments on the last one was that I should import a draft class. So I actually did. If we take a look at the scouting, top guy, John Wall. We got Paul George, Evan Turner, Greg Monroe, Avery Bradley, Hassan Whiteside, DeMarcus Cousins down there. This guy, I'm not going to try to pronounce his name. Uh, Xavier Henry, or I, I'm going to pronounce it Xavier, all right? This is my video. It's Xavier. Ed Davis, Gordon Hayward, Is Smith. So this draft class is actually pretty solid. They got a lot of players that got drafted this season on here. We got even Lance Stevenson down here. Derek Favors. So, oh, Eric Bledsoe, Grievous Vasquez. Okay. Wesley John. Whoever made this was really dope with it. But this is actually the only one I can find that was at least accurate in the way where players weren't already at 85 overall coming to the league because it's rare that a player is coming to the league that good, especially in these draft classes. So, again, simulating games and see how good we could do. Offseason, we really get to rebuild and uh, get this team as good as we want it to be. So LeBron wins MVP. Tyreek Evans wins Rookie of the Year, as he did in real life. Six man went to Manu Ginobili. Dwight Howard, Defensive Player of the Year, which I think may have happened in real life, right? Yeah, yep, that happened in real life. Did Manu win six man this year? No, he did not. Okay. Um, and then Devin Harris wins most improved. Coach of the year wins to Noah Taylor for the Utah Jazz, I guess. All right. Um, here's the first team all NBA. You got Dwayne Wade, Rajon Rondo, Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Dwight Howard. Second team, we got Russell Westbrook, Tyreek Evans. Uh, that's crazy. Um, what else we got? Steven Jackson is second team. Carmelo and Bogut. All righty. Uh, but that's all we really care about. Believe it or not, guys, we did not make the playoffs. We did not make the playoffs, which is completely fine, I guess. Here are the numbers for the end of season number one. If you're curious, D-Rose averaged a little over 19. But let's see who wins the championship. I'm guessing it's going to be Boston versus um, the Lakers. But the, La <laughs> the Lakers lost in the first round, so that's not happening. Boston versus the Jazz. And the Jazz just won the championship. 
Wow. Uh, Carlos Boozer wins uh, finals MVP. Game 7 they went to. I'm still looking to sign Boozer, believe it or not. I want Boozer to play for us. So, he is becoming a free agent this season. So, it's definitely possible. We're going to decline all of that. Go to the draft lottery. See what projected pick we have. So, let's see. Chicago Bulls, they're projecting us to have the 12th pick. <sighs> Less than 1% chance of having a first overall pick. But it happened before for us. That's how we got Derrick Rose. But uh, we actually stay with the 12th pick, which is not anything terrible. We have Thibodeau there. Okay, they're going to go straight to the NBA draft. Now, the plan is to... I don't know what the plan is, honestly. Get this team better. That's the plan. I don't know how we're going to do it. I don't know if we plan on keeping this pick. 12th pick. Let's see. Who's the 12th guy on the big board? Derek Favors. Okay. Overall, it's a C, C plus. You got to think about it. They're coming in as rookie, so he's not going to be the Derek Favors that um, is playing today. But Captain Kirk, I'm sorry. You are one of my favorite Bulls players of all time. But we can trade him. <laughs> let's let's bring back Ben Wallace. No. Um, let's see. Jump up to the eighth overall pick. Let's do that one. And we get a future first rounder, which is pretty cool. Let's try James Johnson. And now the eighth overall pick. See, we can jump up to like six. We can jump up to four. Let's see if we can get anything higher than four. I doubt it, but why not keep looking? Four. I'll take four. Now, who's the fourth guy in the draft? Gordon Hayward. Can we jump up to three? I see DeMarcus Cousins. Can we jump up to three? Hey. <laughs> Forget three. We just jumped up to the first overall pick in the draft. All right. This is the first time in any one of my rebuilding videos in the year 2000, or for 2K17, where I actually kept my draft pick. But it's the first overall pick. Let's see what we get. What can we get here? So the number one pick. Oh, it's John Wall. Hmm. But we have Derrick Rose, so we don't necessarily need John Wall. We can trade. Let's try to trade down. Let's trade down. See... I, no, no, I can't do that one. This is tough. I want the third over. Okay, let's go find the third overall pick. Who has it? Because I do want to get DeMarcus Cousins, without a doubt. But if we could get Paige Stoyakovich in return. Hmm. Okay, let's do this trade to pick up Paige. Now, the, the question is, is DeMarcus going to get pick number one or number two? If he does, then we just call it a big fat L. So let's hope that they don't take DeMarcus from number one. It goes to Paul George, which is fine. Um, from Singapore. That's 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 not right. That's not right. Fresno. Fresno State, actually. But he's coming in at 78 overall, which is pretty solid for a rookie. College, it says he's... Oh, well, in Singapore, he averaged 35 points per game. Number two pick, I don't know. Hopefully, it was not DeMarcus because if it was, we just did that trade for no reason. And they took John Wall. So, we can take DeMarcus Cousins with this pick. Now, what's, his overall is a 76, which is um, low. Okay, boys. So, we actually signed two pretty big names. Now, we went out to sign Marcus Gasol and Yao Ming. Why? Why did we do that? Because my plan is to... First, I want to try this. The Marcus overall goes up if you make him a power forward, but not that much. Marcus Saul stays the same. So we're going to keep Marcus Saul. We're actually going to trade Yao Ming. And what we do need is a shooting guard. We don't have a single shooting guard on this roster. And that's no bueno, as you could probably guess. Um, but it looks like we can't make a trade right now. So we're going to go into the, the, um, to the regular season because we're still actually in free agency right now. And then make a trade. But we, we picked up Yao. I saw LeBron. I saw Dwayne Wade. But... Neither of those guys want to come here. They actually stay where they were, which is understandable. But um, that's pretty much it. And we don't even have players on the roster. We still got to fill the roster. So once we do that, uh, we're going to try to make a trade, get rid of Yao Ming, and try to bring somebody in that's that's solid for our shooting guard position. And we will be back. Okay, so we're here in the regular season. Uh, so now we can try to trade Yao Ming. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> nobody wants Yao, I guess. Which is weird. I mean, I, I guess I can kind of understand it, but it still is Yao Ming. Let's see what we can get for Joe Kim Noah. Um, we're just testing the waters. I do not plan to trade the heart of soul of this team. 
Because you think about it, he's still pretty good. It's just not like a uh, current day Joe Kim Noah. Okay, here we go. We throwing the first round pick. Oh, look at this dude. This is Jordan Crawford, boys. He was actually in this draft class, but he's white. He's white. I thought that was funny. But we need a shooting guard, and this does not offer us a shooting guard. Rudy Gay is pretty good, but that doesn't doesn't offer us a shooting guard. What about Yao Ming, a first rounder from the Kings, and Peja Stoyakovich? Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Without a doubt. I'm not even going to think twice about that. Bring in Iso Joe to play alongside Derrick Rose, Luol Deng, Marco Gasol. They won't boogie to start over Joe Kim? I mean, I can kind of understand it, but no. Nah, we got to let Joe Kim start. Our bench is still pretty trash, though. I'm going to go all out for season number two. So because of that, I know we did all that to bring Boogie in. But I mean, if he can't really help us win a championship this year, we might as well get some people who can. And those are two people that can. But we always got to survey the field. And the field... Hmm. Our backup point guard right now is Tony Douglas. Tony Douglas is not going to get it done. But Tyreek Evans could play PG. And so can Chauncey. But I want I want Tyreek Evans. I want Tyreek Evans and um and Kevin Martin. So let's see what Tyreek Evans overall actually goes up. If we made his position a point guard, they go down by one. But that's no big deal. We'll take that. So him being our backup PG is really solid. We got a backup shooting guard, Kevin Martin, who's gonna go crazy off of our bench, and Josh Smith off the bench. And actually, let's make it a, a nine man rotation. And I like what we got, but we are not done. Taj, you, you've been riding the die with us since 2009, man. But if we can get somebody that's better, just by throwing in the first rounder, why not? Why not make the team better? I'm playing with my brain, not my heart right now. So because of that, we're going to make trades that help us um, right now. And I saw Ben Wallace. And I'm not going to think twice because Ben Wallace is a really solid um, center. And coming off our bench, playing some defense. Look at this. Look at this bench. Tyreek Evans. Kevin Martin, small forward doesn't matter. Uh, Luol will play every minute because that's basically what he did back in the day. Um, Josh Smith and Ben Wallace. So let's get to semi games. I already know this championship is wrapped up for the Chicago Bulls. We're going to be ra raising number seven here in the United Center. This many in the United Center. LeBron wins another MVP. John Wall won Rookie of the Year. Six man went to Troy Murphy, which is weird. Uh, Dwight Howard, another Defensive Player of the Year. DJ Augusty, most improved. And Coach of the Year went to our boy Tom Thibodeau as we win 66 games and only 16 L's throughout this entire season. Um, show you guys the stats here. Derrick Rose led the way with a dub. Joe Johnson, Kevin Martin off the bench, which is crazy. Oh, no, Kevin Martin's starting for us, right? No. Iso Joe is starting for us. So Kevin Martin came off the bench and averaged 15. But Luol has been out. Luol played three games this season. We're trying to win a championship without one of our All-Stars. So that's going to be tough. But I'm, that makes sense now that Kevin Martin's average of 15 because he's pretty much started the entire season. If we take a look over here, yeah, he's starting at shooting guard. But all right, that's fine. I mean, we, we've won games without him. Think about it. He only played three games. Just three games. But here we are in the playoffs without him. So second round, we're going against the King. But the King doesn't have Kyrie Irving. The King does not have Kevin Love. And the King almost got swept. But we'll take him in five. Who does he have on this team? Nobody. Got it. So Eastern Conference Finals. Washington Wizards. Who do they? We got to see who the Washington Wizards have. Whoever they have is not enough because they got swept. But they don't have John Wall. Oh, they got Gilbert Arenas. Gilbert Arenas, Antoine James, and Rob Butler, Jared Wallace. This team was pretty solid, but uh, was not enough for our boys. And now we're going against the, uh, the Golden State Warriors who don't have... Oh. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Um, he was a rookie last year. But they still have Monte. This is before they made that trade to get rid of Monte when they gave um, Clay Thompson the keys to the to the starting shooting guard position. Curry McGaddy, Wilson Chandler, Hedo Turkaloo. The rest of the team is pretty bad, though. 
But, I mean, they are in a championship, so let's not underestimate them as they take... Okay. Don't worry, boys. We, we raising them. Derrick Rose wins a finals MVP, brings a ring to Chicago the way we all thought he would if it wasn't for the injury. So, if you did enjoy the video, as always, be sure to leave it a like. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what team I should rebuild next. And um, thank you guys so much for watching, basically. It's the King of the Fourth. I'm out.